In this lesson, we're going to make a background with bokeh particles. Okay, so to create our background, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of solids. Um, we can really just add one solid and then duplicate it later on. Um, what I'm going to do is add two particle systems that will just overlap one another. So you can use one as a jumping off point or you can completely start over with the second one. Um, up to you. So let's go ahead and go to layer new solid. And I'm going to choose kind of a darker orange for this one just to help me kind of stay straight on what I'm making. Let's put this just right below everything else. So this goes all the way to the back. And we're going to use CC Particle Systems 2 for this one. So go ahead and type that in over here. And we'll grab this out of our effects and presets panel and drop it onto that orange solid. Okay, so you can see this gives us pretty much the same looking particles as everything else we've done so far. But now I want to just start tweaking them to look like what those background particles should appear to look like. So I'm going to take the birth rate way down again just to something like a 0.2. I want these to be very far and few between. Um, and then the longevity, we want to be just a little bit longer. So I'm going to turn that up to about 4.2 seconds. And the position for this one um, in the producer is fine. Just leave that one right in the middle. But I do want to make the radius larger for both the Y and the X axis. So you can see how turning this up makes this much larger. And you could actually turn it up larger than you really need to push those particles further apart. So I'm going to turn this all the way up to about 490 or so. And then we're going to do the same thing or close to it. Let's just do something like 150, 155 ish for the radius of the Y particles or the Y radius of the particles. And I'm going to go ahead and go down here to physics. We'll leave that as explosive. Um, velocity needs to be turned way down. I don't want these kind of shooting all over the place. I really want them to look like they're floating a lot more. We're not going to mess with the inherent velocity here. Um, I am going to turn the gravity down to zero though because I don't want them falling. I just want them just to kind of be floating really slowly through this. Um, and I'm going to turn the resistance up just a bit just to maybe like a 0.1. And let's go ahead and go into our particle type now and change that from a line to lens convex. And this is going to give you those kind of more bokeh looking particles because we've got different opacities and it's got this really nice um, just kind of sporadic look all across here. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and we're going to turn the birth size down though because they do look too big. So we'll turn that down to a 0.3 um, and then let's turn the death size down as well. A little bit bigger than what, how they started out. Let's just do like a 0 0.27, 0 0.29, somewhere in there. Um, size variation, I'm going to turn all the way up to 100. So we got some really little ones and some really uh, large ones. Opacity map is that fade out. I want them to fade in and out so they don't pop on at the beginning. It's already was at fade out, but fade in and out is going to just give that bell curve um, to the opacity property. And we'll let's go ahead and leave those there. Um, we'll leave that at composite. You can choose a random seed if you want to. Just, you know, kind of crank that up. Again, doesn't change the behavior, just changes kind of where those are generating from. Um, so I, I think that one looks really nice. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and kind of scrub through here. You can see now how those are moving. Um, just really pretty slowly, just kind of floating around through there uh, and just looking kind of just very calm there in the background. Now I want to use this as a jumping off point for my next set of particles. So I'm going to go back down here to the bottom and we'll rename this System 1. And then we're going to duplicate it. So select it, hit Control D, and it's automatically going to name it System 2 for us. So System 2, let's go ahead and change, start to change these values a little bit. So um, for System 2, let's turn the birth rate down even lower to, let's say, a 0.1. 
Um, let's go ahead and change our random seed just so we automatically have those not overlapping each other. The longevity, I'm going to leave the same. Um, the producer, I think we could change this time. So maybe this one, we don't have such a large X radius. Let's just bring that a lot closer in here. Um, maybe just somewhere right in there. And let's do the Y radius a little bit smaller as well. Um, so these are going to be just a bit closer together. And let's go into our physics. I'm going to turn up the velocity a little bit just to, let's do a 0.4, just barely different, just a little bit faster. Inherent velocity is still going to be zero. Gravity is still going to be zero. But resistance, I want to be more. So these are going to shoot out initially faster but then slow down and move more slowly so that's kind of what that relationship between velocity and resistance does to your particles and now I'm gonna do something that you're probably not going to like but we'll we're gonna change it in a minute so don't worry we're gonna start out you know this was lens convex convex I'm gonna change it to star now this looks cheesy really cheesy but in a moment we're gonna take this down and um, have it be a lot more blurry and you're not gonna be able to even tell that this ever was a star so don't give up on me I'm not going with these crazy star particles um, this is just temporary okay so um, let's go and turn up our birth size a little bit so we can have um, just a little bit larger surface area covered up with those I'm um, just 0.7 or 0.8 and the death size, though, I'm going to turn down smaller. So these get smaller as they die. So 0.2 for that. Size variation, let's leave it 100. Still have it at fade in and fade out. Um, I'm not really too concerned about the colors. Uh, we could change this yellow to be a little bit more of a deeper orange color, though. I think that might be nice um, for those. And let's also go ahead and change the seed. Um, or I guess we already did change it, so they're not overlapping at all. So um, now we've just got this different kind of look on the particles. So now I want to blur these. So let's come over here to our effects and presets and type in camera lens blur. And we'll go ahead and do particle systems too, so you don't have to look at those stars. So we'll grab that and drop that on. And that's automatically going to blur it out to a 5, which I think is fine. Um, and there you go. You don't really see those stars anymore. But you do get the sense that it's not a perfect little circle. So it just adds some variety to that bokeh effect. And we can kind of zoom in here. And you can see that it's almost kind of more of a square. So it just makes it a little more interesting. And I want to do that also to Systems 1. So grab your camera lens blur and drop that on System 1 as well. Um, and this one for system one, you could turn up your blur radius a little bit. So uh, maybe instead of a five, maybe you want to have a 10 or maybe just an eight, something like that. So we really get this nice kind of blurry look to our particles in the background. So I really, really like the way that that's looking. Now at the end, I would really like this background to sort of just fade out and not really be as obvious anymore. So I'm going to turn down or actually turn up the resistance so they both really start to get slower at the end. So let's come over here just to close to the end. Let's say right around here to frame. Uh, let's do 168 or so just so we have a really gradual fade here at the end or maybe go all the way up to 170 something like that and I'm gonna go ahead and grab system one and go up to our physics and we'll set a keyframe for our resistance and then I'm gonna go forward let's do almost to the very end so not all the way but very close so let's just right in here somewhere 227 230 and we're going to turn up that resistance quite high so I'm going to turn this resistance all the way up to something like a hundred um, so this is really going to slow those particles down over that time they're just if I scrub this you can see that system of particles just really slows down and then by the end of it it's almost completely slowed to a halt so let's go ahead and take a look at the keys on system one so we can see where we place those and then we'll just use those as a marker for system two so system two we have open now I've just selected that let's go over to our physics here we'll set a keyframe for our resistance at 2.3 and then let's move forward here and we'll crank this one up as well so since this one started out higher it needs to go a little bit higher at the end as well with that resistance up 
Um, let's go to something like 110, 111, um, you know, just right in this area here, 115, something like that. Uh, so it's a little more than the 100 that we did for our other value. So you can see how those really start to slow almost to a complete stop there at the end. But they're still twinkling, still looking uh, really pretty. Okay, so once you're happy with those particles, I want to pre-compose those together and we'll call them background particles. So go and select both of those, hit Control Shift C and we'll call those uh, background or we could call them background bokeh. And bokeh is spelled B-O-K-E-H. Okay, so um, go ahead and say okay to that. And now that's just going to be a little bit easier to keep track of. And if you want to, um, maybe we go through here now, just at the end of this lesson really quickly, and kind of fix the coloring of these. It's very hard to tell what's what because they're all the same uh, tag since we've pre-composed them. So I'm going to double, I'm just going to click on that uh, tag for the mantra logo type and turn that one to cyan um, since that's blue. The flare trail is kind of yellow, so we can do that. And the flare reflection, let's do orange um, the particle stream let's do pink for that one particle reflection we can do red and the mantra logo image let's do fuchsia and the background bokeh let's do something kind of dark oh let's do purple for that one okay so now those are color coded it's just going to be easier for you to tell kind of based on the colors um not entirely but pretty close okay so um, this is looking great now in our next lesson I want to go through here and create reflections for the things that we haven't made reflections for yet so um, that's going to be the mantra logo the mantra logo type and those uh, particles in the background um, for the bokeh also maybe add a little bit of glow to some of these particles that are lying on the ground just kind of tweak things around a little bit um, and just kind of work with that. So we're going to learn how to do that. Um, and it's really just going to be a reinforcement of how we already created that reflection in our other lesson, just kind of turning that upside down. So you had a taste of it, but I'm going to just finish it off in the next lesson. So stick around and we'll take care of that.